Hey everybody, I uh, just wanted to do a quick update on our, our uh, Terra Preta soil. Um, if you look down below here, we made some up yesterday. Um, it's just a mixture of biochar, worm castings, kelp, straw, and a few other ingredients which I'll, I'll uh, give you my recipe here. There's several different recipes online. It's just the whole terra preta uh, black soil story is really really interesting. It's some of the best soil ever found. Uh, it's in the Amazon basin. So I recommend people look it up. It's worth reading. Um, there's a couple YouTube videos uh, one of them is called Searching for El Dorado. Uh, it's about an hour long. You can skip through the good part, whatever. But yeah, so that's what this video is about. And I'll show you what I use. So let me move this. So what we do is I don't have the container of biochar that I used. I threw, I threw the bag away. But basically we filled up a five gallon bucket full of biochar. Um, you can get that online. Just type it into the web search. Uh, basically biochar is almost like a lumpy hardwood charcoal. Uh, that's generally what people use. They don't cook it with fire. The fire is actually cooked or made on the outside in a separate container surrounding it but the heat actually is what chars this that's why it's called biochar so really interesting stuff um, we're excited to play around with it so anyways um, I'll explain how I do it I do a five gallon bucket full of the biochar into this a tote like this uh, we got this from Home Depot. Then what you do is you add, um, you fill the bucket, the five gallon bucket full of filtered, distilled, or rainwater. You pour that in here. You mix it up really well. And then what we'll do is we'll start adding ingredients. This here is your Alaska fish fertilizer. This is our nitrogen what we use mostly for the nitrogen. A lot of information about this on YouTube. Um, if you don't want to use cow manures, stuff like that, fish is really, really good. Um, so, for the, um, see here, this we put about four or five heaping tablespoonfuls inside. We'll mix it up really well. Uh, we'll sprinkle probably half a handful, half a scoop of the rock dust inside. Then what we'll do is we will use this stuff here, uh, seaweed uh, concentrate. Uh, we use the worm castings. Um, in our previous video, we showed you the worm castings. We use about a third of a bag. We'll mix it all in. Then what we'll do is we will add some uh, non-sulfur, all-natural um, molasses. This we use probably four or five tablespoons. <clears throat> if you want, you can add a little bit of Epsom salt. I just keep it in here inside one of the growing rooms. So this is good for your uh, part of your MPK. And then what we do is after we mix that, we'll grab a couple handfuls of just local straw from one of the local farmers. We'll mix it up really well. Um, the consistency you're looking for is you just want to kind of it's like wet concrete, but not dripping wet. So this stuff here right now is a bit wet because I just added some more water to it. Right. 
but you just want to be able to make almost a clump but no water pouring out between your fingers so this will sit like this for about two weeks I'll come in I'll check the water um, I'll mix it up really good once or twice a day um, and then in a couple weeks it should be ready so yeah that's it um, just add the water as you need um, another idea instead of adding five gallons of filtered water or distilled water we can also use five gallons of worm tea which will start all the microbial activity right away it's a little bit faster um, you get your microbes and all that a little bit sooner so at the end of the two weeks it's ready to go and then what we do is um, some people mix this with their soil but if you have an outdoor garden you would get a mixture of this you know something like this made and then you could just top dress around your tomato plants or anything in your garden you can do trees right you just take this and, and make a ring around it you know only a couple inches deep and uh, yeah that's yeah like I said that's a bit wet right now because I just added water to it but uh, feel free to uh, ask, ask us any more questions um, this is our third video me and my co-pilot comment so um, yeah we're on we're at CR designer foods on Facebook we're at the crafty urban farmer on YouTube we also have a microgreens group um, you'll find us on Facebook and uh, if you would please like subscribe follow share if you find any of this information helpful um, feel free to send me a message or Sandra Sandra's big on the succulents the carnivorous plants so that's it bye bye